The Nobel Prize for Medicine 2023 has been awarded to Kathleen Carrico of Hungary and Drew Weissman of the US. They were awarded for their pioneering work on nucleoside-based modifications that enabled the development of effective messenger ribonucleic acid or mRNA vaccines against COVID-19. The discoveries and findings by Carrico and Weissman have changed the understanding of how mRNA interacts with human immune systems. It contributed to the unprecedented rate of vaccine development during one of the greatest threats to human health in modern times. Genetic information encoded in human DNA is transferred to mRNA in the body's cell and used as a protein production template. Scientists were able to produce mRNA without cell culture in the 1980s in a process known as in vitro transcription. This also triggered research on how to use mRNA for vaccine and therapeutic purposes. However, in vitro transcribed mRNA was considered unstable and challenging to deliver, requiring the development of sophisticated carrier lipid systems to encapsulate the mRNA. Moreover, in vitro produced mRNA gave rise to inflammatory reactions. Carrico and Weissman wanted to test a hypothesis as to whether the absence of altered bases in the in vitro transcribed RNA could explain the unwanted inflammatory reaction. Back in 2005, they found that the inflammatory response was almost abolished when base modifications were included in the mRNA. In further studies published in 2008 and 2010, Carrico and Weissman showed that the delivery of mRNA generated with base modifications increased protein production compared to unmodified mRNA. It also reduced inflammatory responses. By 2010, several companies were working on mRNA vaccines. After the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, two base-modified mRNA vaccines encoding the SARS-CoV-2 surface protein were developed at record speed. Protective effects of around 95% were reported and both vaccines were approved as early as December 2020. Such vaccines have saved millions of lives and prevented severe disease in many more, allowing societies to open and return to normal conditions.